Hey guys, welcome back to Play Retro. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, my name is Javi. I want to wish you guys a happy holidays. I hope you guys are staying warm, you know, spending a lot of time with family. But yeah, in this video, I want to show you guys how you can get this. So this is my custom stock OS for the RG35XX Plus. I've customized basically everything on it from the boot screen to the shutdown screen to the loading screen to the system text. I've changed backgrounds. I even customized the favorite star. Among other things, I've changed some system icons. So yeah, if we get booted up, you did see the start screen. I want to show you what this looks like. Also, this is preloaded with my box art. So you don't even have to get that anymore. It's going to be preloaded onto this image. And yes, yeah, it's, it's perfect. Check this out. If you go into your games room, first of all, you'll notice the background is different. You do have a few different background options now. A little bit better. Um, I have changed the system text, as you can see here. And then I've changed all these icons to be a little bit more better looking. Uh, with the exception of this one, this one I haven't been able to change. I haven't been able to find a good image for this, so this is what it is for now. Um, but yeah, you can look through all these. They have a transparent back now, so you can see the, the background and stuff. And it looks really, really good. And of course, included is going to be my box art. So if you see my box art tutorial, you're going to get all this box art preloaded, basically. All you have to do is add the, the games and the BIOS files, and you're going to be good to go. Check this favorite star, favorite star out. Hold on. Let's go ahead and favorite this game. Look at that favorite star. This is from Mario. But I just added this little touch. I thought it was so cool. Um, I have not changed the, the icons here because I thought they were pretty good, as is. So I left them alone. And then you do have a few different background options. So you can see here, these are some of your backgrounds you can choose through. I gave you two dark and two light. Um, this one you won't be getting. I changed it to a Pikachu one, but you will be getting this one. This one I felt was just way too light and you can't see anything on it. So I, I decided it wasn't it wasn't worth keeping. So yeah, um, let me go ahead and show you that shutdown screen. This is my favorite part. And there you go. It says powering off with a little gem. So throughout the whole theme, you're going to see that there's just the same. This It's going to have a text with a gem on it. And each each color, uh, each each gem is going to be a different color for the screen. So the boot up screen, you'll see this is pink. Then there's a second boot screen. When the gem turns purple, that means you're close to, to entering the game. See that right now? Then you see the gem turn purple. And it boots up and then i just want to show you quickly like um i don't know let's see go ahead and exit out of this and then there there's that loading screen so this one's a blue gem so yeah now i'm going to actually show you how to install it i don't want to leave you guys in the dark you know what kind of person would i be if i just showed you off showed off this little image and then up oh, you know, you guys do it yourselves. I'm not like that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to actually install this. Without further ado, uh, let's get on the computer. Okay, guys, so we're on the computer now. Let's start with some preparation. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need two programs. You're going to need Mini Tool Partition Wizard. And you're going to need Rufus or any other uh, flashing tool. So this can basically be a Balena Etcher or basically anything you like to use. Um, I do have those here pinned. And I'll provide links for everything in the description below. Okay. As for tools, you're gonna need a micro SD card reader, and you're gonna need a, a brand name SD card. I would not flash this onto the stock card if you're using a stock card, just because the stock card is unreliable. Please don't use that. And then again, the size does not matter. The image I'm giving you is about 4.62 gigs. So basically, any SD card is gonna work. Um, I don't even think they sell 16, uh, 8 gigs anymore. So any size SD card is gonna work. And then you're gonna need the image file. So this is the name of the image file. Again, I will provide links for that. So you're going to head over into uh, onto my Twitter over here. You'll see this post and I want you to click this. Okay. And then all you have to do is click download standard download. Okay. So you'll see here that this is the, the, the size of the file. It's going to be a pretty fast download. I have extended the partition just a little bit to make space for the box art files. So that's why it's a little bit bigger, but even so, it's still going to download pretty fast. So I want you to just put that on your desktop or somewhere you can find it easily. And let's get flashing. So 
first things first, I want you to insert your SD card into your computer. So I've gone ahead and inserted this one. I'm actually going to erase it really quick. So, so I'm going to just erase this and pretend it's a new SD card, how you would have it. The very first thing, hold on one second. Okay. So if you got a brand new SD card, it might look like something like this. If it's not, I want you to delete that partition using this program. Right click and you'll see an option called delete. Please make sure you're on the correct SD card. I don't want you to delete something on your hard drive. And then you want to hit apply. Once that's done, I want you to format this. I want you to just hit right click, click create. And then right here under file system, I just want you to hit FAT32. And then you doesn't matter any other, other stuff. Just press OK. And then hit apply. Yes. And then just give this a second to do its thing. You're just creating, you're just formatting this to FAT32. Okay, so you formatted this to FAT32. Now I want you to exit this out. Quit. Yes. Okay, perfect. Now I want you to go into Rufus. So after you've downloaded this, right? Go into Rufus. Okay, perfect. Now we're in Rufus. Now I want you to select the SD card that we've just done, which is this one right here, 64 gigs. And I want you to select the ISO file. So you should find it on your desktop. And I want you to hit open. And then the only thing you have to do is press start here. It's going to give you a warning. You just press OK. Make sure, again, make sure you are on the correct SD card. You don't want to lose data. Please, please, please triple check you are on the correct SD card, especially for people who have a bunch of things attached to their computer. Please make sure you're on the correct SD card. So yeah, give this a second. The file is relatively small, so the flashing should only take like a minute, which is amazing. So yeah, total flash time is a minute and 15 seconds. So it's super fast. Okay. Might be even faster if you're using a SD card that has a higher write speed. So let's get out of Rufus now. You can close this. And now you might have an issue where you, your computer is not detecting the SD card, which is fine. I want you to go into your mini tool partition wizard. And all you have to do is go into the ROMs. And I want you to right click it and I want you to change letter. So instead of D, go to anything else. I like G for games. Press yes and apply and press yes. And give that a second. And now you'll see here Windows is, 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 is seeing it. We'll give this a second to finish. Okay, so now you've assigned a letter to it and Windows will be able to see it. The last thing you have to do is you want to go here, right click, and I want you to click move slash resize, click on this, and then right here on this right arrow, I want you to click and hold and drag all the way to the right and press OK. And this is for a single card setup. If you do, are planning to do a two card setup, you don't have to do this, but I would do it anyway, just to use the space on your SD card. So go ahead and press OK and then apply changes, press yes. Now give this a second to do its thing. Okay, this thing's finally done. And now you'll see you can use all the space for the, for the ROMs. Okay, so as soon as that's done, you can close out of this. And now you can actually go into your ROMs partition, you'll see two folders in here. You'll see ROMs and you'll see save. And I want you to create, you can add your BIOS files in here now. So you can, however you want to name it, BIOS, and put all your BIOS files in here uh, or copy them from your stock SD card. You'll also notice all of these already have box art in here. And this is for the tiny best set go. So if you know what that is, go and get it, and then you should be good to go. I have basically the, pick the smallest one, the ones that's like five gigs. You'll have images for all those games. 
you'll see here Game Boy Color. Let's show actually open one of these up so you guys can see what it looks like. Beautiful box art. It's already pre-sized and all that. And I even threw in some um, N64 in here. You guys are gonna have to source these games, but there you have the box art already for it. So if you load it on, you'll immediately have the box art for it. You don't have to worry about doing all that work. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and add some games and BIOS files to this. So for this example, I'm just going to add one game. And then I'm going to show you what that looks like. So now go ahead and e safely eject the SD card. Okay, so we're back at my desk. I have my micro SD card reader with a card I just flashed. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in my RG35XX+. Plus. You can go ahead and boot that up. You'll see this beautiful boot. And yeah, this is what you're going to see when you first boot this up. You're going to have this green with the green. You're going to have these kind of like leaves in the back with this green icon. But if you don't like that, you can go ahead and change that. Just go into settings and you'll find the different backgrounds you can use. So let me show you. So this one has the brick wall this is a beautiful brick wall looks really nice and the one i've 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 chosen for you guys and you have this uh red pikachu and you have this pikachu oh so yeah that's your options and then yeah let me just show this to you guys so i've just added one game for this demonstration so yeah, uh, Ghosts and Goblins. You already have your art pre-configured. Look at this favorite star. Beautiful. And you should be good to go. So there you have it, guys. That's how you flash my custom stock os this is the very first version which i still believe to be the first version i know i heard today that there was a new update um i'm still i still have yet to check it out to see if they fix the box art and stuff like that but from what i've seen they still don't allow you to resize the partition and stuff like that so we're gonna have to wait for somebody to really make a, an image we can use that i can modify when that comes out i'm gonna give you guys another image just move all the all the files i've done for this one and put it into the new updated system I do want to say I just hit 500 subscribers. I want to thank each and every last one of you for everybody that's in the comment section, just leaving uh, encouragement and nice comments. You know, I read everything, even the people defending me from the people leaving mean comments. You know, it. <laughs> I do. I do really appreciate it. You know, just thank you for all the all the love and support and stuff. It really does mean a lot. And when I first started this channel, it was just as like I, I really just wanted to give back to this community because, you know, I've I've been in the community for a while. And I've just taken and taken and I felt it was time to give back and that's why I've created this channel. But yeah, this, this channel is not about me. It's about you guys. And I just want to help you guys. So yeah, keep all those comments coming in. Keep asking questions. I don't want you guys to think like I'm that far away. I'm not, I'm not like that. I'm not like a YouTuber that like I'm so like far from reality. I'm like a person just like you. I'll, I'll help you out the best I can if I can answer your question. Yeah, leave leave your video recommendations. Let me know what, what other handhelds I should pick up so I could do reviews and videos for. Leave suggestions on what we can do to improve this. I also wanted to change the sound on it. I, I did attempt to do it and it didn't go well. So um, if we can get some files for the sound so we could change those these button sounds and stuff like that. I want to give a huge public thank you to one of my viewers. His name is Datatron. He created the intro for this video that you saw. It looks like a Game Boy with my channel name on it. And I did not ask for that, but I just want to say thank you, man. Like, I really, really appreciate um, you guys doing stuff like that for me. That's, like, so nice. I was working on getting a proper channel intro. I just haven't had the time, and I've been trying to just put out content and stuff like that. So... Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for that. It, it really does mean a lot. And this channel is growing so, so fast. Like I was just at 100 subscribers the other day and now I'm at 500. You know, thank you guys. Keep all the comments coming. My goal with this channel, I want this channel to be a hub, uh, like a social hub for people who are into this hobby. Just everybody comes together 
and we can like you know just share our knowledge with each other and just have fun together you know you know we can update each other on like new firmware and how to how to fix certain things and issues and stuff like that and you know just come together and, and just be a community here on this channel but yeah if this video helped you out uh, definitely consider dropping a like if this video sucks you don't like the pictures i picked if i, if I made the stock image worse please leave a dislike. Definitely let me know what you guys think of, of this image in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.